When students come to class, they have a large number of well-developed, naive conceptions and knowledge structures. These structures often interfere with what they are taught in school. In this project, we illustrate conceptions and misconceptions about clouds. As you watch the video presentation, you'll see children answering the following questions. What are clouds? How are clouds formed or made? What are clouds made of? What color are they and why? Are all clouds white? And why are clouds different shapes? Foggy falls because they can't move away. But they can move away if they can. I'm up in the sky. Um, I don't know. Up in the sky. Up. Um, if a person goes up on it, you fall down. Hmm, why do you think it, the person will fall down? Well, if you go in the sky, when you're in the star, you can, um, you will fall down on that star. There are things up in the sky. They're up in the sky and they look like pillows. <laughs> They're evaporated water that looks like it's white and fluffy. Alright. Clouds are water. Clouds are little bits of water. I can't know. They're made of what? They're made of fluff. Fluff? Fluff. From, from the sky. When it goes when you get out of the way and the sun comes. Hmm. What do you mean when they get out of the way? Well, well you just want to. Because you do if it rains, it's gonna be a rainbow like that. Oh, okay. Hmm. I don't know. How God made them. Okay. Water. Um, by water coming up and wa and ice crystals. Clouds are made of water, and water evaporates from the ground, goes up to the sky, and makes a cloud. I can't know. I love cotton candy. They're made of bumpy things, and you make a cloud with it. They're made of fluff. They're made of what? They're made of fluff. Water. Um, by water coming up and wa and ice crystals. Clouds are made of water. Because they are clouds. Because they're one from up in the sky and the sun. Doink, 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 doink. Because the wind blows them? Because, like, if there's a storm cloud, it could be heavy and it could be thin because it depends on how, many, how much rain's going to come. And snow clouds can be very heavy. And regular clouds can be thin and very thick. Clouds are different shapes because you never know where the water is going to go inside the cloud when it is formed. Some are gray, 
some are the whitish gray and mixed with white. Not all clouds are white. Some can be gray if it's stormy outside. This is a cloud and this is a cloud and that's the sun. Clouds are white. There, way over behind our house. Yeah. And clouds are like this, way behind our house, <laughs> way up in the sky, where elephants is. Where the elephants are? Yep. And way up there is the lions up. Um. In Africa. Why are there elephants and lions in the sky? Because they're in Africa. How is Africa in the sky? Um, I, they're, they're uh, way up high and they live up there. Yeah? Do you uh, mean that the clouds are shaped like Africa they're and elephants? They're is that what you mean? Mommy. Uh -huh. Can you draw some clouds that you've seen? Mm, or there's no white. Okay, so that is a cloud. One looks like it has paint on it because it has holes in it that look like splatters. This one um, has a hole in it. This one looks like a car. These are the wheels and, and this is the top and that's the other part. Um, well this is a snow cloud that ice crystals melt a little and then they turn light and fluffy into snow. And this is a rain cloud. Ice crystals go in it and they melt completely and then heavy rain comes down. And these are all just clouds that are a little white and sometimes a little dark and fluffy. We have found that children's understandings about clouds differ based on the child's developmental stage. Preschool age children understand that clouds are something up in the sky and most were not sure what they were made of, or how they were made. Although they knew clouds were different shapes, the three, four, and five-year-olds were unsure about how they were made, or how they became different shapes. Some thought they were even made of slough, or maybe cotton candy. As children enter school and have encountered some formal education, then they demonstrate a better understanding about clouds. The school-aged children offered more details and scientific explanations about the clouds. They knew things such as clouds are evaporated bits of water, that they may contain ice crystals, and they can be different shapes. We discovered that five of the seven children thought clouds were white, and only when prompted by the question, are all clouds white, did they then say that some could be gray. Therefore, as children grow, develop, and have formal school experiences, their understandings about clouds expand.